happen nothing no burning no tingling sensation hi everyone i am dr nancy dermatologist and today let's talk about minimalist lactic acid 10% exfoliating serum why cleopatra takes bath with milk because it contains lactic acid so lactic acid are also naturally present in curd and sour milk my favorite mixing ingredient with our glow mask is also curd or milk it is fragrance free there is no dye no silicone silicone is fine with me no essential oils the most part is made with aloe vera as we know aloe vera juice is good for moisturizing soothing and anti-inflammatory property here we have lactic acid 10% for chemical peel which is done in dermatologist's office we use around even 90% 92% for daily application we can use from 5% to 12% they use phenoxy ethanol as a preservative since phenoxy ethanol is usually used in less than 1% everything which is like listed beyond that is all less than 1% for hydration and moisturization property it contains hyaluronic acid glycerin propandiol and lecithin it also contains turmeric this is a good antioxidant and anti-inflammatory there are many research regarding this turmeric and i'm also taking it orally and i would also love to apply topically the consistency is not as thick as the other minimalist serum it is a little bit watery and a little bit runny that's why it is so easy to spread now let's start with what is lactic acid among the alpha hydroxy acid it is even milder than glycolic acid if you have sensitive dry skin this is the product for you number one it is a good mild chemical exfoliant on the top layer of your skin there are dead skin cells we can remove a little bit so that our skin looks smooth and glowy lactic acid will break those bones and it will exfoliate and it will also get rid of those bumpy textures and even improves hydration of your skin the studies was done with 5% and 12% so with 5% they are seeing improvement only in the topmost layer of the skin epidermis and with 12% they're seeing improvement up to the deeper layer like even the dermis up means that 12% is better but if you cannot tolerate that doesn't mean that you're going to force yourself to use lactic acid also have antibacterial property and there is improvement in inflammatory lesions in 61 percent of the patients but i'm not saying that if you have acne this is the only solution acne is caused by so many things and so it depends on person to person that is why it is very difficult to treat if it is severe never try to treat on your own what is the point of us studying for 10 years to become a dermatologist? In our sebum, we have triglyceride. This triglyceride is converted by bacteria into free fatty acids which cause irritation and acne. That is why you should avoid greasy products when you have acne. What will lactic acid do? It will kill some of the bacteria, so it will prevent this. You cannot completely depend on lactic acid for your acne medication. Even this study is just for maintenance phase, not like the active phase trying to control the pimple. This is for like later use. So who can use this product? If you have pigmentation, melasma, dull looking skin, even aged skin. If you have sensitive skin and you want to incorporate chemical exfoliants to your skincare. Some people say that teenagers should completely avoid. If you have these particular concerns and if you're going to benefit from that, you can also use it. But then if you have acne, it's better to consult your dermatologist. If your skin is completely normal, you don't have to use this. Because when you're in a teenage years, it takes lesser time for regeneration. Our skin rejuvenation, it is taking more time than when we are in the teenage years. <laughs> and you are going to dry your face and wait for at least five minutes i do not suggest using any toner essence or anything i would love it only if we use face wash followed by this exfoliating serum simple plain moisturizer three drops rub it between my palms and then just dab it for beginners and sensitive skin if you want you can apply it leave it for 15 minutes and then wash it off 
and then later slowly slowly you can increase and use it as a leave-on I also apply at the back of my hands my elbows here where I have keratosis pilaris we are going to use only at night that we can use daily but for sensitive skin you can use alternate days and I'm also using tretinoin so I'm using alternate days for myself after applying nothing happened nothing no burning no tingling sensation nothing only nothing only I was feeling we should know which one can we mix it and which one we cannot you should not mix with other acids like glycolic acid phytic acid and salicylic acid acid vitamin c also causes irritation do not mix with retinoid you're not going to use the normal scrub which you're using do not use this either after you shave your face what about mixing with my favorite ingredient niacinamide niacinamide in acidic ph it converts to nicotinic acid it goes flushing and a little bit of irritation there are certain people who use niacinamide after lactic acid and they don't experience any irritation so i was searching for some research or some studies regarding this combining niacinamide and lactic acid i'm not able to find the research if you have ever seen please tell me about it i have seen only article so they are not writing any reference according to me since we are using acids i don't prefer mixing too many ingredients when it comes to these kind of chemicals that is why I also would not prefer mixing with niacinamide some people can tolerate but then um, I will use niacinamide in the morning and lactic acid at night it's okay take a break now I'm making videos later I will wash my face and then my face will become a little bit red so in such kind of situation I just mix with my I just mix uh, two drops in my normal cream bus I'm diluting myself thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already just subscribe and then see you in my next video